Okay, so Devin, I think we uh, finally get yours open here. Let me get back to where we were. Yep. So Devin and Sinia. Um, so let's look here really quick. I think overall yours is working pretty well. My biggest notes is I feel like there's a lot of things that are still untextured. Like you just kind of have this gray texture on some of these objects here. Um, you got some nice stuff going on with the, you know, the, these metal elements, and I think the wood is looking pretty good. Uh, it's kind of hard to get, it gets a little pixelated in spots. Um, this tiled uh, checkerboard, um, although I think it, you can make it work for the floor, it feels a little weird on the wall, and especially when we get this misaligned part of the texture there. Uh, but overall it's working pretty well and I think your lighting's looking good with the exception of like I don't know where it's coming from right like it's got this nice lighting here um, but it's not like there's nothing here really casting any light and I think your shadows here are just way too dark like there's just no there's no light over here at all that's kind of filling in these shadows so you need a little bit of a fill light and I think you you need to maybe work on some of these forms that are a little simpler like these these are just kind of made out of boxes and you know it's kind of nice but I think you could you could round some of these off and make them a little bit more organic so overall it's looking pretty good um, okay Sinya so you got some really neat elements in here but it's kind of hard to see what's going on and then I think this gap in but where there's no wall um, really kind of messes uh, a little bit with our heads um, because we we see this carpet which is very similar colors to the table and so the table doesn't really stand out on it and so I wish this carpet were just a darker color or, or something or this wood like just had a different material on it maybe it was reflective or something all the elements on the table are really really pretty nice I'm not necessarily sure what this is um, but the plates look nice the egg looks nice um, I'm imagining that's just a photograph of an egg I like that you uh, work to get this uh, picture of the dog on here. I'm not sure if this stretching and like warping around the edges was intentional. If it is, it's working pretty well. And I imagine it may have been because this seems like you kind of have this like clay fired um, glaze look to parts of it. And so that may have been what you were going for. Um, if it's not what you're going for, then I need to kind of look at why it's doing that and how to make it not do it. But I, th I think that it is. Um, I think the edge of this bowl feels a little sharp, um, but your your teapot looks pretty good. Um, and the biggest thing is like this disjointed like uh, we're in a room uh, feel to it. Now what I think is neat is I think if I'm not mistaken it looks like you have the floor extended out to give us this elongated feel, and so that's a really nice way of fixing the issue that a lot of people were having. Let me see if it'll actually open it up. I know it won't have the texture on it, but Give it a second here. Do you have that happening? Oh maybe you actually just made the uh oh. let's try this again. Okay. So hard to deal with right now. If okay, so yeah, actually that's oh I see you got the ground texture here, and so yeah this is actually working much better. Although I wouldn't have known to look at this without the uh, um if I hadn't opened this up and checked it out. What's happened is this material didn't render, isn't it? Um, okay, yeah. So like, if you if you want to resubmit with a with an updated render, I can I can update that grade. But I think that this would be nice. I think that one of the reasons we're not really separating those things is because we're not seeing a lot of the shadowing until we get to like right here, right? And we see the shadows there. Uh, but yeah, it's that material is not rendering. And so yeah, this actually is working pretty pretty well. Um, otherwise. Um, I think you're getting some neat effects. Um, let's see. Yeah, 
again. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, but uh, if so, it's it's kind of neat actually. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, so that that's the biggest things I'm kind of noticing. Um, obviously, the the missing texture, uh, and I think that uh, doing a little bit of tweaking on that, and then maybe even just showing it from a slightly different angle, would maybe help. Um, sort of clarify some of the things that we're not seeing in the in the video now. Um, so Patrick, see so you're revised. Ooh, okay. What's that one? Okay. Okay, that's kind of neat. I actually think that there's you got something really neat. This is a really um, pixelated render. I don't know if it just used JPEGs or or if it just compressed it too much or what's happened there. Uh, but in comparison to your original, this this does work much better now. Um, I think your lighting is looking much better on it. I think it's just it's a very small render. Um, I'm not sure we spend a lot of time just kind of staring at this corner, so the camera work could still be improved a little bit. Uh, your lighting looks better, and I really like that. I don't know if this is part of a reflection or part of the lighting. I like this red you got going on here that I guess is being cast from the lighting outside. And so you get some really neat stuff in there. Again, this render is just you know really small, so it's kind of hard to see what's going on. But um, the things I would say to work on maybe um, some of these areas that just fall completely black. Uh, so I need just a little bit of like lighting in there just so we can see how it's bouncing around. Especially considering so much of this is is bright. You know, so I think playing around with that and getting a little bit of the lighting here on these walls on the inside uh, will help a little bit as well. And it seems that something back here is glowing. Um, so if we look back in here, it just feels like there's like some element back in that corner that is whoop, that's glowing or there's some highly reflective thing happening over there and so that feels a little strange but overall it's uh, it's looking much better um, I'm guessing this one because it's the newest one and it says revised yeah okay this is Randolph So you have some really neat things happening in here. Um, I think you're getting a little bit of that um, issue with the shadows here. Uh, it's like it's speckling a little bit. Um, overall, I think it's working better. I still would like a little bit more contrast in it to where I, uh, I could see just a little bit more lighting in here. Um, just to kind of bring up the levels overall. Especially considering this light outside feels a little dim in comparison. I think what you got going on here now is, is nice with this uh, um, that picture plane. Um, like it looks good. The parallax is looking good, and all, as always, the steam is looking good. Um, the reflectivity on the floor feels a little unnatural for this material. Like this feels like stone. And so when it's got this like this really bright highlights on it, it feels a little strange. Um, I think this is this is one that's almost like a lighting issue. It's like it's really hard to get that balance between what we see and contrast. So you don't want to bump lighting up on everything and make everything visible because then it's it's too strong. Um, but you don't want it to be too like either too contrasty either. So you need a little bit of contrast, but I think the your whites never make it all the way to white. Does that make sense? Like they they kind of go to this like mid-level yellow at most, and so I think it needs just a little bit more brightness on that. Um, and it may even be you'd take it into Premiere and you could bump that up, but you're going to get a little bit of a an imperfect solution there. So I'm guessing this one's the new one. Final. Let's see. Twenty-eight. 
versus 24th. Yep. So let's check it out. So you uh, you took it to heart, everybody uh, wanting some food in there. So I see. Um, I think it's looking good. Uh, so a couple of uh, this is looking good too. These these apples look really nice. Um, and your level of like highlights and everything on it came out really well. The bananas look good. Um, all of it looks really good. Um, I would say my only so you got a couple of things where it feels like the material on the floor shifts. I don't know if maybe you've accidentally set some keyframes on something on the floor. Um, so I saw that. I think there's a couple of areas that get a little bit grainy. Um, see here, you can see it a little bit in the uh, the shadows up here. And I don't know if that's coming from um, the material or if it's coming from uh, your shadow maps. Uh, or not shadow maps, I'm sorry, your, your ray trace shadowing needing a little bit of a higher uh, numbers in there to kind of reduce some of that. Um, but I noticed that a little bit and it kind of washes out on, on the wall here a little bit. But overall this is looking really good. This shot, and I didn't really say a lot about it in the in class critique because you were getting a lot of good feedback from everybody else. Um, this one kind of confuses me a little bit because this is such a mirror reflection. I would really kind of like it if this reflection in here were not so perfect. Like if you had just a little bit of a, a fuzziness to it. And I see that in a couple of spots. Like, look how perfect of a mirror reflection that is. I think just just give it a little bit of fuzziness, and it'll it'll help a little bit. And uh, it won't just be such a perfect, like polished chrome. I think it'll feel a little bit more realistic. Um, and otherwise, I'm not seeing a whole lot. Um, I guess this is one of those examples of where you try to only show what you want people to see because I probably never would have noticed that the texture seems to be stretching a little bit right here if it wasn't for this new camera angle um, but otherwise this is like this is an extremely strong one um, so I'm kind of nitpicking stuff right now on how to how to make this uh, a little bit better um, I think it's it's looking really good so let's see Tanner I guess this is the. I'm gonna assume this is the new one. 26th. Let's make sure there's nothing in movies. It's 23rd, so I guess so. Well, so you kept it simple um, in sort of a not necessarily in, in a room, uh, but I think. Sorry, the, the sniffles a little bit. I think that your modeling on it is actually really good. And so, like, this is a very strong fork. Um, your texturing's looking good. Your lighting's looking good. The coffee cup. All, all of this is looking good. Um, and I think that if this is that, there's a chance that... Let's find your old movies. Is this the older version of it? I just want to see the difference between the two. Uh, maybe I can't have them both open. Oh, I'm just opening five or six of them. Yeah. think that uh, I think that that's what's happening I think you've played around with the milk a little bit better made that look a little bit better I think your highlights are looking nice um, yeah just overall this is and this render is looking really nice on the the metal so I think oh yeah I also flattened out the plate a little bit I think overall this was this one's very solid um, you know I there's the issue of like and does it need a background um, it wasn't necessarily part of the requirement. I just said put it in some environment, and it just, uh, I mean, you just had to have the breakfast um, as, as the biggest part of the requirement of that, and I think that you, you did a really good job on all of this. So, um, 
so my small nitpicky thing is how rounded like perfectly cylindrical um, this uh, this handle is on the coffee cup and like usually they're a little bit flattened at least on the inside just so like your hand like kind of has a place to rest on it but I think it's also just how it's molded together um, and so that's uh, my only real like nitpicky uh, comment also the uh, the turntable looks really good um, so I think it's a, it's a solid piece uh, the only thing I'd really say to work on is that and I feel like there's a chance that maybe this doesn't need the pancakes don't need highlights by any means but it feels like a texture on maybe it needs a little bit of bumping or something on there a little bit of a bump map or or something to give it a little bit more change in, in texture uh, so it needs a little bit of something so they're not just like an image pasted on a, a pancake shape uh, but overall it's looking good mm, let's see here will breakfast scene Sorry, that, uh, that wallpaper is making me a little dizzy. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what happens here. It appears that your material disappears halfway through it. My guess is that this is a render issue, like you'd rendered half of it, you went somewhere else and rendered the other half, but it didn't find the texture for your floor, and so that's why it disappears on that frame. Um, I think your camera motion's a little fast and uh, erratic, but um, overall I think that the render's looking pretty good. It kind of hit, hit a couple walls with the camera there and we pop around. And, and so I think it needs a little bit of work on the camera. Uh, I think some of your objects could... Let's... how to say, how to say this here. Like, your table and chair look a little simple. I think you could probably make those a little bit more complicated. Um, and then... You have, like, your, your oven seems a little simple, and so does your refrigerator. You have some other stuff back there, like a, your light fixture looks really nice, actually. And I actually think your coffee cup looks great, but we barely get a chance to see it. Um, and so, like, I want to see what's there. Like, we, we get, like, just a few frames of that. So, um, and these shelves maybe could use a little bit of work, too, or these doors. So. Overall, I just think it needs a little bit of touch-up. I like that you put the clock on there. That came out pretty good. Um, but it's just that this is so, like, a perfect box. Um, and the, uh, dude, the wallpaper makes me dizzy. But, I, I mean, I like it. I'm not, <laughs> I like cheesy wallpaper. Um, so it feels like a grandma's house. And the light fixture actually looks really good, too. I, don't, I think I mentioned that before. But I think play with your camera, and that's going to help, because your lighting actually looks pretty nice. Play with your camera as a way to kind of show this off in the most effective way. So we see the things that um, are are the most important for us to see. So overall, I think that's everything. Um, let me make sure I got everybody. We'll okay. So keep in mind, um, your grades will be um, sort of a combination of what you turned in. That what you turned in here will be uh, the first uh, 70 points of your grade. And basically what I'll do is I will grade the entire thing, give you a number, so let's say you got an 80, and then I'll go check and see if you have each of these three. And if you're missing one, then for each one you miss, I count off 10 points. And that's how your grade's going to be calculated. If, if you want specifics on why you got the grade you want, you got, uh, come talk to me and I'll, I'll show you why, why I uh, calculated that. But hopefully that'll give you an idea of why I got the base grade for this before any of these numbers are counted off. So uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.